Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to God. Oh, victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to God. Hey, yo. Oh, oh, oh. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to God. In you, we put our hope. In you, I find you find my faith. Against his promises. Who can stand against his will? Who can stand against his powerful values? The songwriter says, No one can, no one will, and no one can ever be compared to God. Hey. People of God, bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. God bless you, Ubong. God bless you, Aneka Nefion. God bless you. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. <laughs> I see that. I see that this, um, yeah, what's his name? He's trying to distract me with all kinds. 
<laughs> I wasn't even reading the comments. God bless you, Dominic. God bless you. God bless you. Like I said yesterday, I'm going to be occupied for the greater part of the afternoon. God bless you, man of God, Dominic. I see your comments. God bless you. Ubon, you're trying to distract me. You and my voice and me going off key. That's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> God understands you. Welcome, Ubong and Yang. You make it very interesting. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you guys with the love of God. I love you guys so much. I love you guys so much. So today, I said, let me pray for you. So I'm going to be praying for each of you. And I'm going to start with Udwak in your bong. Udwak, I speak into your life. I pray for you. Whatever it is that you're going through, whatever it is that you're facing, whatever it is that is standing on your way as an obstacle, whatever is standing on your way as a blockage, Udwak in your bong, I begin to pray. And I break those luggages. I break those stumbling blocks. I break those things that are not allowing you to move forward in your life. I cancel it. I destroy it. The Bible speaking says in his word that they that seek me will find me. And they that call upon my name, they shall renew thy strength. I have seen that you are a regular viewer and I've given you three months for your testimony. Udwaki Nyebong, I bless you in the name of God. I bless you, I bless you, I bless you, I bless you, I bless you. Okay, now I'm going to pray for Ubong. Ubong, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. The God that knows your heart desires, the God that sees your desires, the God that knows your endeavors, the God that you believe, I pray that whatever it is that you desire, I pray that whatever it is that you wish for, I pray that whatever it is you see, Seeking God for, I pray that whatever it is that your heart so much has knocked on God for should come to pass for you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hi, Pastor Dominic, I pray for you. May the Lord increase you in your ministry. May the Lord increase you in wisdom. May the Lord uplift you. May the Lord showcase you. May the Lord speak for you. May the Lord be your defense. May the Lord build your church. May the Lord raise you high above your equals. May the Lord speak through you. May the Lord enlarge your ministry. May the Lord show you forth to the world. May you speak just of God. May God keep you in line for him. May you not go astray like every other people. May you stand and speak the gospel. And when you speak the gospel, may God speak the gospel through you. I bless you. I bless your ministry. I bless your followers. I bless your members. It is well with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Who else, who else, who else do I have? I cannot see the other people very well. I cannot see the other people very well. But today, I just want to pray for you guys. Today, I just want to pray for people. I pray for you. If you are sick in your body, begin to receive healing. I pray for you. If you're looking for a job, receive your jobs. I pray for you. If you're looking for marital settlement, may God settle you. I pray for you for upliftment. I pray for you for open doors. I pray for you for breakthroughs. I pray for you for divine help. I pray for you for divine favor. The Bible speaking says we can do nothing. We can do nothing on our own, but we can do everything through Christ that strengthens us. We can do everything because we have God. So that is why I am here this morning. And I'm praying for you, whatever it is that you're believing God for. I pray for every viewer. I pray for everyone on this page now. I pray for everyone that will watch this video. That the good Lord will touch you at the point of your need. Whatever it is that you're believing God for. Whatever it is that your heart so desires. Whatever it is that you've been praying for. Whatever it is that you've been waiting upon the Lord. The Lord will bring it to bear for you. He will make his face to shine upon you. He will favor you. He will have mercy on you. May God bless you. For those of you that are believing God for the fruit of the womb, begin to receive your miracle children. Receive your miracle children. Receive your miracle children. Receive your miracle children. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I took my shower today. I dressed up and then... I wanted to speak about something else. And when I was dressing up, the Lord says, you got to pray for people. You got to just go pray for people. And I said, you know what? I'm going to pray for people. As much as, as much as they come and they are watching, you're very lucky because this prayer, 
I see sprayer is been doing this, he's been doing this. Ubong, Ubong, I do not, Ubong, the devil does not have any authority to give you constant headache. Whatever headache it is that you're feeling or you've been feeling for the past month, Ubong and Yang, I break down that headache. I cancel. The Bible says it shall not stand, neither will it come to pass. His promises for you is that you prosper and that you stay in good health. Hold God to his word and tell God, your promise for me is that I will prosper and I will stay in good health. Begin to speak. Begin to speak positively. I cancel the headache from the pit of hell. I said every spirit of headache. I cancel you and I cast you out right now. You have no place. You have no you have no place in the life of Ubong. You have no place in his life. You're packing your load and you're going to where you come from. Heaven have cursed you. God has cursed you. You would not stay in his life. Because the Bible speaking says, He shall not stand. Neither will he come to pass. His thoughts, his promises for you are of good and not of evil to give you an expected end. Headache is not of God. Headache is not an expected end. So it is not your portion. Begin to believe. Begin to believe. Begin to believe. Get a, get, get a cup of water. Get a bottle of water. And when you get it, begin to call on my God. I anoint that water in the name of God the Father. I anoint the water in the name of God the Son. I anoint the water in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Today marks the end of every headache in your life. In Jesus' name. Affliction will never arise the second time. You will testify and you will test God and you would see that truly many are called but few are chosen. I bless you in the name of God. Edek has no place in your life. It is cast and it is gone forever. In Jesus' name, I seal it for you. Your testimony is permanent. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I begin to pray for you. I pray for you. Intimacy, intimacy, I pray for you. I pray for you. Whatever your heart so desires, whatever you've been believing God for, whatever is giving you restless night, whatever is giving you sleepless night, whatever is giving you no peace, no joy, I pray that the joy of the Lord will restore your joy to the brim. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I saw someone else before intimate. I saw somebody else before intimate. I saw somebody else. I saw somebody else. In the yang. In the yang. I pray for you. I pray for you. I call on the God that made heaven and earth. I call on the creature of all things. I call on the God that knows you. He made you. He said you cannot come before me and go back empty handed. In as much as you have come and we are believing and we are praying together, God will bring your expectations to bear. That which you are believing God for, you will begin to testify. The Lord shall fill you up to the brim. The Lord shall restore you. The Lord shall show forth his grace and mercy in your life. The Lord will bless you. He says, many, ma he says, many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord knoweth them all. I don't care how many times you have been afflicted. I don't care how many times you have been robbed. I don't care how many times you have lamented. I don't care how many times you've been sorrowful. But right now, everything, everything that you have ever believed God for is going to be restored in your life, one after the other, one after the other. You guys will begin to testify. We are not joking here. You guys will begin to see the handwork of God. You guys will begin to feel the Spirit of God. You guys will begin to feel the love of God. You guys will begin to have an inward and inner happiness. You guys will begin to walk in the divine direction of God. You guys will begin to burn for God. You will begin to love your Bible. You will begin to love the word of God. You will begin to love to pray. You will begin to miss to pray in your life. There is a sister on this platform. I've noticed her she is very quiet. She does not really say much. But I've noticed that anytime she comes online, she always shares my video. I pray for Sister Sophia, Sophia Victor. 
if I mistake the name, God will not mistake the name. She's not online right now. I pray for her wherever she is, that the heavenly father will touch her, that the angel of visitation will go to her wherever she is and will meet her at the point of her need because she has shared the gospel of God, because she is interested in God. God will share in her problem. God will solve her problems. God will step in into those potholes of her life and begin to make the crook places of our life to be corrected. God will begin to align her in his word. God will begin to strengthen her. Sophia Victor, I pray for you. I bless you. I uplift you. I anoint you. I dedicate you to the heavenly father right now and I say, God, may it please you to step into the shoes of that sister and begin to bless her and begin to bring her heart desires to bear. I cover you all with the blood of Jesus. I anoint you all with the blood of Jesus. I seal whatever prayer I have prayed for you in the blood of Jesus. No weapon fashioned against you will prosper and every tongue that rises against you in judgment shall be condemned. Every plan of the devil is here by twatted in your life. The Bible speaking says, Whose report shall you believe? Whose report shall you believe? As I sit here, I begin to tell myself, I shall believe the report of the Lord. Sister Patience Nina, I pray for you today. Whatever it is that you're believing God for, may God settle you maritally. May God uplift you. May God step into your case. May God touch your children with divine health. May God touch your children with divine wisdom. May God give you joy in abundance. May God step into every situation that you are going through. May God heal you of every disease and infirmity. May God uplift your husband. I cover you people. I bless your finances. I bless your endeavors. Whatever it is that you're believing God for, it will come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you, my friend, whatever it is that you're believing God for, this year shall not pass. The Lord shall celebrate you. You shall be gloriously settled. You shall be gloriously celebrated. Every plan of the devil in your life is hereby brought to disappointment. What people say you cannot do, you will begin to do it. Every impossibilities in your life are hereby turned to possibility. You shall shine forth. You will grow above your equal. The Lord will step into your case. The Lord will begin to raise you. The Lord will uplift you. The Lord will fill the empty portions of your heart. The Lord will fill you with joy. The Lord will fill you with love. The Lord will bring the right people in your cycle who will love you for who you are. I bless you, my friend. You know, I love you so much and I bless you in the name of God the Father. I bless in the name of God the Son, in Jesus' mighty name. Who else do I have here? Who else do I have here? Who else do I have here? I just had that unction to pray for people. I want to pray for people. I pray for that child. I pray for that child. I pray for that child. I pray for that child that is looking for funding to go for brain surgery. I begin to pray for sponsors. I begin to pray for helpers, for Utiba Basi or Inia Basi. Whatever name it is, God knows better. If I get it right, if I get it wrong, I begin to pray for that six-year-old child that is looking for open doors to go for brain surgery. May God open doors. May God bring people, divine sponsors, divine open does divine breakthrough i pray and i cover you that you would go for that surgery god will make sufficient means to be available for you you will go in for that surgery and you will come out successfully in jesus mighty name amen we don't have much time who else do i have here i just want to pray for people i just want to pray for people i just want to pray for people i cover you with the blood of jesus wherever you are wherever you're watching from and this prayer remains for even the people that will watch this video after now that the devil does not have a place in your life that the devil cannot steal your joy what god says he will do is what he will do the devil has no place in your life the bible speaking says you are of god and when you are of god God, God is in you, God is with you, God is by you, and God will dwell with you. So in your doings, in your thinking, 
in your acting, in your going out, in your coming in, begin to embrace God. Begin to embrace God. Be spirit-filled. Be well-anointed. Be alert. Don't allow the devil. Don't allow the devil. Don't allow the devil to use you. He's a bastard. He is not a strong man. I abuse that idiot every day. He is stupid. Shame be unto the devil forever. He is a shameless man and he will, he, will, he will remain shameless. As for us, we are sealed. We are covered with the blood of Jesus. And nothing, 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 no weapon fashioned against us will prosper. And every tongue, be it for my friends, be it for my family, be it for my colleague, be it for my workplace, that will rise against us in judgment. Every tongue that will rise against us in judgment and begin to judge us is hereby condemned. The Bible speaking says it shall not stand, neither will it come to pass. So it will never, every negative prophecy, every negative word, every negative spoken word that was spoken right from time immemorial. Right now you are of God and the things of God, the promises of God, the words of God, the prophecies of God begin to stand in your life. I cover you with the anointing of the Lord Jesus. I cover you with the precious blood of the Lord. It does well with you. In your going out, it does well. In your coming in, it does well. In your endeavors, it does well. Please endeavor to go to church tomorrow. Find a believing church. Go to church. Pray, read your Bible. This is all that God determines from you. This is all that God demands from you. This is all that God wants from you. Read your Bible. A prayerful Christian is a powerful Christian. You want to be impacted. You want to be, you, you want to you burn for God. You want to be in line with God. So that when the devil comes, he does not have any power. He cannot, he, can, he cannot dominate you. He says, this lady, this lady, this woman is just too much for me. Begin to burn in fire for God. In Jesus' mighty name. I love you guys so much. I got to go now. Have a blessed weekend. God bless you. Your children are blessed. Your water are blessed. Your food are blessed. Your bed are blessed. Wherever, whatever, wherever you're watching me from, whatever it is that you're believing God for, for those of you that are outside the country, I don't know why I'm hearing pray for people. Those of you that are ans those of you that are outside the country and you're struggling to get your papers, you are struggling to be settled. Privet Larissa, Privet, 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 Privet Larissa, Kagdala. Talk the Lord, Larissa. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. I pray for you, my friend in Russia, that whatever it is that you're believing God for, that God will bless you. I cover you, Larissa, with the blood of Jesus. And I said, the God that visits people in the strange land, may he visit you right now in Russia in the mighty name of Jesus. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Paka, paka. So, Please, I don't know, those of you that are outside and you're looking for papers, you're believing God for your papers, and you're believing God for your papers, you're believing God for your papers, I want you to know that it is done, it is settled, it will come to pass, it will come to pass, it will come to pass, just believe God, believe God, trust God, begin to seek God more, begin to seek God more, the Bible speaking says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all other things shall be added to you. Your marriage is in saving God. Your job is in saving God. Your children are in saving God. People, when you want us, when you want strange things to happen to you, begin to do strange things. Begin to born for God. Forget what your friends will say. Forget people. You were not born with them. People will criticize you. People will judge you according to your past. But I tell you, your past does not matter to God. That is your past. God is interested in your today, in your today, in your today, in your tomorrow, not the past. Let go of the past and begin to focus. Love God. Save God. And everything will be well with you.
I love you guys so much. 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 God bless you. 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 I don't have any other word to tell you than God bless you. Trust me, people of God. If God was not good, I would not deceive you. God is so good. That is what I am telling you. Because I want you to enjoy the goodness of God like I am enjoying. I want God to show forth his grace in your life like he has shown for me that is why i am here to encourage you to strengthen your faith to bring you to god and let you know that it is real god is real just like heaven is real please begin to embrace god begin to embrace god with old nothing give yourself away with old nothing just give yourself away give yourself away just give yourself away. Tell God, take me. Use me. I am nothing. And God will do that for you. I love you all so much. I love you all so much. I love you all so much. I love you guys so much. I love you guys so much. I love you guys so much. Mm. Have a lovely weekend. See you tomorrow. Please go to church. 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 I see you tomorrow. I love you so much. God bless you. 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 It is well with you. Amen. Now, let's share the grace of fellowship together. Let's share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord, celebrating forever and ever in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Goodbye. Goodbye. Love you. Love you guys. <laughs>